In today's blog, I'm going to talk about one of the biggest errors that I see um, with, with high school guys especially, but also with younger athletes as well. And this really pertains to you high school athletes now heading off to your high school practices. Um, as you get into your high school practices, you're now going to be in a regimen where you're throwing six days a week. Uh, you might only throw a couple days hard, whether it be through a bullpen or a little bit of an accelerated throwing action. But because you're going to practice six days a week, you're going to be throwing six days a week. And it might be light catch, uh, and again, it might be a harder session. But especially because you're going to be playing a lot of light catch, even on the days that you're going to be warming up to go harder, we typically have the biggest throwing errors timing-wise when we go into regular catch. And I, I see this more and more. I've had to correct a lot of guys in the past uh, couple weeks as they're heading off because their timing is atrocious uh, when it comes to a light, shorter catch action. And typically the reason why you're going to find that is, is that when you're throwing from a shorter action, your arm, your arm action stays the same. So the tempo of your arm, the distance your arm swings stays the same, but you're cutting down your stride dramatically when you're throwing the ball, um, when you're just taking a shorter stride and playing a more normal catch. So typically what you're going to see is that arm action is going to be extremely late. And because you're not moving very fast, you can still get your arm to move back into a slot to throw the ball, but it's training your brain to have uh, inappropriate or incorrect uh, timing and action. So it's going to be something you have to pay particular close attention to because you're throwing six days a week, that if you don't make this correction and you stay off of this timing, you're going to create a lot of bad habits in a short amount of time because of the amount of time that you're going to be throwing. So here I'm going to give you kind of an example of where your bad timing would look like um, for you guys to be able to continue to pay attention to now that you're moving on into a more regimented uh, routine of throwing more times during the week.